Hi, and welcome back to season two of Steamworks. This season is vaguely related to renewable energy. Today we're going to be making a water wheel, and I forgot to say, but my name's Simona, as I'm sure you know by now. Water wheels were a historical way of getting electricity from a running river, and rivers are renewable because they are moving forever. So it's not like you're using the water when you're using a water wheel, you're just using the movement of the water. We're gonna be making a water wheel out of spoons and a cup and some dowels and a straw. And... I forgot to call VJ over here. Water wheels are kind of cool because they are what we call inductors. And VJ's gonna explain that right now. So what I have here is a motor, also known as an inductor. Um, inductors are motors ran in reverse. So um, what happens is you have a magnet in here and a coil of wire. The magnet spins and it drags the electrons in the wire around and that induces a current and electrons flow out and we get electricity from spinning. Very cool. Alrighty, so we're gonna use a paper cup and a whole bunch of spoons to make something that's going to rotate. And that'll cause all those coils to, to happen the way VJ just explained it. So let's get to work. The first step is gonna be to cut the top of this cup off, because we don't need the whole cup. We just need the top inch. So I'm actually going to mark this so that I don't hurt myself. All right. So here is gonna be the base of our water wheel. We're gonna use, just like many episodes in the past, a straw as the base of our axle. So I'm also going to cut right the middle of this cup here. Cut an X right there so I can add in the straw. Let's head over to our hot glue station so we can glue this in place. just got to hold this parallel as it dries. So we've got our straw perpendicular inside our cup that we cut in half. That's where we're at. I'm going to cut this straw a little shorter because we don't really need the whole thing for our axis. So I'm going to cut it right here. I'm actually going to use scissors because I'm always safe. Let's try that out. All right. Doing great. So we've got our axle and we've got the body of our water wheel. Next we're going to attach the spoons. I've got these really fun spoons here decorated by my beautiful fantastic interns and I am going to cut some slits in this paper cuff. So I'm going to cut six slits hopefully equidistant from each other so that the whole thing spins effectively. So my first one's going to be right here I'm gonna do the second one totally opposite to it. I have a feeling this will work if you don't have them perfectly spaced, but we will try our very best. Put that one there. This one here. All right, so now each spoon will be able to slide right into these slits I made. Just, might be a bit of a wiggle, just like that. And we're gonna glue this spoon in place. We're gonna glue it right along here to the body so that it's extra sturdy. And I'm gonna glue it to the straw in the middle, the axis, just in case, so that everything stays aligned. So let's grab six spoons and head over to our hot glue station. We did it, we've got all six on there. I glued in the middle right here, just to provide some extra support. I was careful not to melt the straw, however. And as you see, just like in last week's episode where we made a wind turbine, one of the spoons is a different color. We've got this one orange spoon. And that is because we want a marker that denotes one rotation of the whole water wheel, because we can use rotations over time, you know, how many rotations per minute 
to figure out how fast the river is going and how much electricity will get out of this water wheel. So my very last step is to put our dowel into the axle here and give it a spin. Pretty nice. Let's take it down to the river and see how it works. Hi folks, so we are sitting along the body of water right outside of our offices here at Fluxspace. This body of water leads into the Schuylkill River and it kind of looks man-made, so there is a decent chance that this was built in order to harvest water electricity way back when. We tested out our water wheel in a couple places and we thought this was one of the best ones because of how fast the water's flowing. But as you can see, it's totally working. Okay. And we're gonna show you how this works in one other location that we thought worked pretty well. So we found this other kind of weird body of water coming out of one of the walls of our building here at Flex Space. I believe this is a natural spring that's just running through the building and then flowing right back into the watershed here. And so we wanted to show you how our water wheel would work over here. Thanks for coming to this episode of Steamworks season two, which is vaguely related to renewable energy. We made a water wheel pretty cool. Next week, we're gonna make something else using a vaguely renewable energy source. So catch us then. See ya. Did I ever mention the 3D printable thing? <laughs>